The wording of this question states that solid sulfur is, and they tell you that it's S, not, for example, S8 or anything else. Solid sulfur, S, is added to a basic aqueous solution of hypochlorite ion to produce sulfate and chloride ions. I change this a little bit, actually because um, you see I've written, oops, I'm pointing with the mouse here. I've written sodium hypochlorite. Instead of, uh, according to the question, we already have ClO minus ions in solution. Um, I thought I would change it just a bit so that I can show you how we balance for an atom that's uh, not appearing on the other side. It's very straightforward, so I thought I would do that. Change it a little bit. The first step is to assign oxidation numbers to all your species, reagents, and products. That's done. And having done that, we can see that oxidation is happening in the sulfur, and the chlorine's going from plus one to minus one, or else being reduced. Um, the oxidizing agent is chlorine in the sodium hypochlorite. The reducing agent is solid sulfur. We'll write our two write out our two half reactions. We'll start with sulfur. And the other half reaction is reduction. Sodium hypochlorite goes to just simply chloride ions. Okay, we'll start on this side first. Balance all the atoms except O and H. Sulfur is already balanced. We can move on to oxygen. I have four, so I need four uh, water. I've just introduced hydrogen. That's the next atom I want to balance. Eight hydrogen, so I need eight H plus on this side. Can you see? Plus S, plus so four two minus plus eight H plus. Is it acidic? No, it's basic. So add the same number of hydroxide ions to each side as you just did the H plus. <coughs> Excuse me, and now simplify. So that's eight hydroxides, four waters, sulfur goes to sulfate, and eight water. Now that the atoms are all balanced, we're left with balancing the charge. I have a minus eight on this side, and a minus two on this side. I need six electrons on this side. So my oxidation involves the loss of six according to this half reaction. So in this half reaction, oxidation half reaction, six electrons are needed to balance the charge, six electrons on the product side. We'll halt this one here, we'll go over to the other side. Balance all the atoms except for O and H. Chlorine is balanced, but I need a sodium. And the way that I introduce sodium to the other side is the way that it exists in this aqueous solution, which is of course as the sodium ion aqueous. I won't I don't need to put the AQ at the moment. I will at the end if it's still there.
Okay, so now that's balanced. And now I'll balance the oxygen. By adding a water. I've just introduced two hydrogens, so now I need to balance it on the other side with H+. I've added H+, is it acidic? No, it's basic, so I'll add an equal number of hydroxide ions to both sides which effectively means that I've added two water molecules to the left. And two hydroxide ions to the left, essentially. Move that over just a wee bit so we can see. Now, balance the charge by using electrons. What do I have? I don't have any charges on the left. Minus one, plus one, minus two. So I don't have anything on here, and I have a minus two over here, so I need two electrons on the left in this reduction. And we could, I suppose, be writing an ACL aqueous, but we can do that when we tidy up the final equation. All right, so now we'll balance the electron transfer and do and add the two half reactions together in the same step. I'm trying to keep that. OH minus sign and my 8 in view. Okay. All right. Uh, six electrons, two electrons. So this is fine, times one, but this one will have to be multiplied by three. So we'll multiply and add at the same time. You can see just barely. We'll go to the next reaction. Three times two, six water. Three sodium hypochlorite goes to back to the oxidation half reaction. Sulfate plus eight water plus six electrons lost. Over to the reduction side, adding three. See how I have Cl minus and Na plus? And they're both going to be three. I'm going to write it as NaCl aqueous, but with the three in front, so that's, that's the same thing. Don't have to. I'm just running out of space. It's more efficient. 3 water, and then 3 times 2 is 6 OH minus ions. Okay, now go, let's go through and tidy up. Well, the first thing I see is I have 8 hydroxides over here, 6 over here, so I'm going to wipe this out completely, and this will go to a 2. Write that in. Um, I've got four water on this side and six, so that's ten. Eight and three, eleven over here. So I'll get rid of all of this water and just leave 
one on this side. And um, the six electrons, of course, can go out. So what do I have left? I have two OH minus. That canceled. Okay, this is aqueous. I have my solid sulfur. I have my three sodium hypo... Whoops. Shouldn't put that sign there. Three sodium hypochlorite aqueous goes to sulfate ion, which is aqueous, and that's one water molecule that I had left over. That will be liquid. And three aqueous sodium chloride and nothing else left over there. So a quick check, uh, two oxygens and three is five, four oxygens and one is five, two hydrogens, two hydrogens, one sulfur, one sulfur, three sodium, three sodium, three chloride, three chloride, and we already did the oxygen. So now for charge, a minus two and a minus two. Yay, we're done.